Hi guys, so we're back. Today we have Domino's Pizza. Yummy. So let me show you guys what we got. And then we're gonna start eating and I have my cousin with me today. She's feeling a little under the weather. She's been sick for a minute. But so our first pizza, we got pepperoni with jalapenos. That's definitely going to help her out. But doesn't that look delicious? So that's that one. The next one we got is... Oh, yeah. Mushroom with pineapple. I know there's a lot of people that don't like pineapple on their pizza, but we do. It's good. And then mushroom is good overall, so. But we also have a treat. Um, it's actually cheat day for me, and I wanted to go all out. So we got donuts, too. I already ate one. So it's not a complete box. She couldn't help herself, but it's okay, guys. Look at all these donuts. Where did we get these donuts at? Um, the place is called Sunrise Donuts. Sunrise They're donuts. so good, guys. Handmade, every day. Um, I actually don't like Dunkin' Donuts or the... What's the other place called? The very popular one. Okay. Um Oh, uh, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. I don't like Krispy Kreme donuts either. Um, they're, I don't know if it's they're too small for me or... Can I take a fucking bite of the pizza? Yes. Shit, yeah, making me wait. <clears throat> and I actually have some ice cream too, guys. I'll show you guys that once um, we start eating it or I start eating it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, gonna get in. Got the ice cream from or? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it came from the store. Mm. Ask your question, guys. So I'm gonna start with the mushroom with pineapple. That's what I started with. It's good, right? Yeah. See, you guys, mushroom pineapple pizza if you guys never had it taste it it's so good we got ranch and i'm hungry starving mm -hmm. uh, tell me where you been what you be doing why you looking like a whole snack so um it's been a minute since I recorded anything since I've done a mukbang. mukbang. Um, as I said earlier, today is my cheat day. Today is Sunday. Um, so for the past 35 days, I started a diet. I basically um, cut out sugars, gra grains, Gra gra and I know <laughs> grains and red meat. Um, I have been eating it here and there. Like I've had oatmeal, I've had granola bars, I have had red meat too, but it hasn't been something um, like that it's super big. Um, so, so far in my 35 days, I have lost 20 pounds with Whoa. just cutting with just cutting that out of my system um, and not having it as often. Um, but I have been having Sundays as my cheat day because, you know, I'm trying to discipline my body, but at the same time, like especially last week, all I was craving, guys, was sweets. Like, I needed to have sugar in my life. It's an adjustment. It's yeah. An adjustment, so. so, I'm trying to, you know, discipline the body. Um, but, you know, on my cheat days, I want to go all out. I want to go all out. I mean, if we're being real, this past 35 days, on Sundays, yeah, she's going all out, but it's not like, like, don't think that she has, like, a food on top of food on top of food. It's um <clears throat> honestly I think the, the worst cheat day you can say and really it's more portion than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Cause on the Super Bowl weekend, um we had Wendy's. And it wasn't anything like crazy and outrageous. It's just a portion. 
Yeah. You know, it's like we went, we literally went shopping to Wendy's is what it was. I had, I'll tell you guys what I had. I had a large fries. Um, um, David, Dave, Dave's famous double. Um, no mustard, no onion. No tomato. mustard, no onion. And then two spicy chicken wraps. Like that was one meal. Um, cause to be honest with you guys, I love Wendy's. Wendy's has great burgers. Um, and it was my cheat day. So it's just like she said, I'm not eating as unhealthy, but my ratio is big. The quantity is, is big. Can you guys correct me if I'm wrong then? Maybe it's not ratio, but my, my quantity is a lot. Portion. My portion. portion is a lot, and that's why I, I'm this big, guys. Because I'm used to eating a lot. Same. So, um, I don't remember <coughs> if I told you guys as well. But I actually haven't been working either. Um, I stopped working December 7th. My official last day was December 8th. Um, and we're in February... What's today? The 10th. Today, February 10th. So it's already been two months that I haven't been working. Um, and like I said, the past 35 days, you know, I started this diet. Um... And I want to continue it. Um, it definitely has helped that I'm not working. I'm not stressing about work. Um, and I'm taking basically time to work on myself. Sorry, guys. We got interrupted. We had a call coming through. I have a little sister. Um, which she still on the phone. Doesn't know when to hang up. Wants to be a part of it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I know this is very unprofessional, right? Um, no, this is what no boundaries looks like. Yeah. This is what having family that doesn't get it. Yes. You know what I mean? But thank you, guys. Sorry for the delay. And interruption. Yeah. Are you going to hang up? Can you hang up? Mm -mm. Bye. Bye. Finally. And I lost track of where I was at. No, you were saying that you weren't working. Oh, I haven't been working. I so that's definitely been things. helping me um, a lot. Mm. It was spicy. Mm. That was a kick. Look, I took, I took off the whole thing. <laughs> Eat it. It's too spicy. I'm still working, but I... Um, oh, this is not my video. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm still working, but I went from... I went from full-time to part-time. Hang out, because you can hear it. Sorry again, guys. Bitch called again. <clears throat> I'm telling you, they don't get it. They don't get it. That should be the last time, hopefully. Um. So she's working part-time only. Um. I'm not working right now. And then... um, We're actually both babysitting just to have a little extra income here and there, you know? Um, it's not too bad. They're a little handful here and there, but, you know, it's all right. It's all right. How are we able to maintain this fortress? Um, luckily for me, I just rent a room here. <laughs> <laughs> She's being honest, too. <laughs> this Lil's house, not mine. <laughs> yeah. Um... So I basically took out my little savings uh, for me to be able to take out, I mean, for me to be able to take time off from work. 
um, which is almost coming to an end, honestly. But um, right now we uh, we about to take another three months off, <laughs> two and a half, right, something like that. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out different options to to extend my uh, Leave time, basically. Uh huh. Um. So I did resign from my job. I no longer am working for the company. I didn't just like take time off from the company. I'm not work I'm not working with them anymore or with anybody. Um I basically took the time off and I was just letting her know earlier that, you know, it's been nice for me. I haven't been bored. Um, you know, I've been a little bit more wanting to do more things. I'm not as tired as I usually am. Um, I'm a little bit more active, um, and I'm like happier. Um, the reason why I say that is because I had a job where it was very mentally draining. Um, I would get home. I was so tired. I didn't want to deal with anybody. I didn't want to talk with anybody. I was so cranky. I'm one of those type of persons that I'm so cranky. I'm the worst. Like I'm so anal. Um, and that's how I want belief. Yeah. So, you know, I really needed this break. Um, the good thing is I have very supportive family and they support me. My brothers like have been okay with it. They haven't told me nothing. Cause you know, sometimes you have family, like they'll be like, why are you doing that? Why would you do that? Don't do that. Like stuff like that. But not my family. My family has been, one of my brothers is actually like, let's figure out something else. So you can take more time off. Um, so that's, you know, that's good for me. Um, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, so we definitely want to be making more videos for you guys, uh, showing you guys more. Um, I am on this journey, you know, where I am happy with myself. I just want to get to myself where I am more healthier. Um, as of right now, I don't have anything like diabetes, cholesterol, or, excuse me, <clears throat> uh, blood sugar, or anything like that. But obviously, I don't want to get it to that point either. So that's why I'm taking, you know, these steps to be on a diet and go exercise and um, lose some weight, you know, um, just for myself um, so I can be healthy in that way because I am happy with myself. I'm happy with my body. I am confident um, and there's nothing wrong with being a big woman. Um, I've had no issues with that whatsoever, either in the past um, so it's not because I just want to look skinny and this and that. It's just to make sure that, you know, I last longer in this life. So, yeah. Not only that, but it's more comfortable, you know. I mean, I can say also, like, from in the past where I have journeyed. Because I, I, I supposedly started this journey with this beach. But, uh... <laughs> About, what, like, a day or two into it, I think? Yeah, about a day or two into it, I, um, um, I guess, I, yeah, I think you could say I gave up, or I just wasn't as focused or committed, maybe that's the proper word, as she is, uh, but from the past, you know, I went from 368 to 3, I think it was like 334, 333, 335, something like that, and the difference in your like in your own like physical body and things that you know you can do like you can you know what i mean like it's it's just so different i can't really tell you specifically where i feel the difference because i don't think that's appropriate right <laughs> but um wow and aside from that you just you know you feel you feel better honestly you, you really truly do like i really mean that um what was I going to say? I think that you didn't follow the diet? That you broke off from it? Or no? Yeah, I did. I broke off from it. I've been trying to get back into it. I mean, we're going to the gym. Yeah. You know, like, I I think I told her, like, I think it was, like, two weeks ago or whatever last time was that we went to Sam's prior to yesterday. Because we go our grocery shopping at Sam's. Um, I was like, maybe I should just eat however I want to eat and just go to the gym so that's what i've been doing um and i don't know i i haven't well i weighed myself at the gym 
with the manual scale, like the one where you gotta like move it and stuff. And um, I haven't weighed myself on the electric one that you have here, but uh, I don't know if it's accurate, y'all, because I be gaining and losing <laughs> ten pounds every day, so I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's been it's been good. It's been good. I really wanna really wanna get back into it, bro. Yeah, and it's hard, guys. It really is. Like she's seen me the past thirty something days where. You know, I've said it myself, like, I'm craving sugars or, like, I'm so tired of me. I'm so tired of what I'm eating. Like, it's very, very hard because you're so used to of the way that you've been eating for years that when you want to change it, your body doesn't recognize it and it pushes back. Um, so it definitely takes some time. It takes a lot of discipline, structure. And you planning out what you want to eat. Uh, because if you think about it too much, that's where you get bored too. Because I think that's what some of the things that I've noticed that, you know, I'm overthinking things. Like, you know, I could just eat whatever. But I, I overthink it because I'm like, well, is it is it healthy enough? Is this really good for me? Do I really want to eat this? Like, how am I going to feel? Like, so then it's just like I get all these questions and it gets harder for me. But... At the end of the day, whatever I eat, as long as the, what was it, portion? Portion control, yeah. You have that portion control, it's not bad either. And it's not bad for me, like, I'm pretty sure I can eat pizza once a day, you know, twice a week or whatever, if we're still working out, but I'm just deciding to just have my one cheat day. It's a choice. Because I really do want to stay focused and, and do it. Um, before I get older, you know what I mean? Um, it's going to be easier for me you now. Get older, bitch. Yeah, I'm already going to be 30 soon. Oh, I thought that classified you as older already, but whatever, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> damn. <laughs> but, yeah, so we're just making these decisions for ourselves, um, and that's what I was telling her now, too. Like, you know, when she broke her diet since the beginning, I told her, you know, if you're not there mentally or you're not ready for it, then it's going to be even more harder. So then that's when she thought about, OK, well, I'll just eat the same, but I'll just be more active, which she has been. Um, and for me right now, it has it hasn't been difficult, like for me to um, eat something out of my diet. Um, it's just more like me craving things um and it's mainly been the sugar like that i've really been craving and i think the reason that is is because i literally have not drank anything other than water like i don't even think i have drank like those yogurts oh, yeah, strawberry yogurt. but like i think i've only had two um two or three um the other day we went out on friday night um i was peer pressured and i was bullied it was not peer pressure it was not bulliness we literally were like, "Lo, you want a drink? Left it alone. Five minutes later, yeah, just give me something. I'm pretty sure it went the other way. It went like, Lil, get a drink with me. Lil, drink with me. This and that. This and that. So I did have two <laughs> drinks <laughs> that night. Um, but other than that, I literally have not drank anything other than water. So I really have not had like any fruity drinks any soda like nothing whatsoever so i think that's why i'm really craving sugars um and that's probably why i also got donuts i also got donuts too because the other day leanne came home with a box of donuts half a dozen half a dozen of donuts and i it was not my cheat day so i couldn't have any um, Yo, the honestly the control that she's had has been awesome because like cravings are no joke and i am personally more than guilty of satisfying a craving um just because it pops into my head and the, the crazy thing about it is like i can honestly crave like say chipotle because i like i eat chipotle like mm -hmm. every fucking day but um i'll crave like chipotle today and then i'll i'll crave like subway and then I'm like, okay, well, which one do I want more? So if I get Subway, then I'm still craving Chipotle, so I'll end up buying Chipotle. You know what I mean? So it um it doesn't help that I'm not working towards, like, 
repressing those cravings, especially because, um, well, I'm just not, I'm just not, but she has had awesome control. Like, honestly, it's been great. But I think it's just been easier for me because I literally am not doing nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not not doing nothing, but, you know, I just I'm usually not doing nothing. <laughs> Usually when you're at work you go for the 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 thing that's the fastest. You know, fast food is the fastest thing to go to to snack on or even like when we didn't have time we would just ask one of our coworkers that was coming into work for the next shift let's say, "Hey, can you bring me a bag of chips and, and soda?" Like literally I would have soda every single day. For sure I had chips. If I didn't have them every day, every two days I had chips. Um so, you know what I mean? Like, those habits have been hard for me to break. But it's been easier that, you know, I'm not in that environment anymore. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and enjoy a donut right now, guys. Because I've been holding off all day from eating one just so I can show you guys the donuts and eat it with you guys. Uh. So, which one should I have? Should I just... I love their glazed donuts from this place. Yeah. They're so bomb, guys. They're called sun, uh, sun, Sunset... Sunrise. No. Sunrise Donuts. And I believe they do have a couple locations um, all around Phoenix. But they're all like... Uh, what are they? Franchises? Yeah. They're all franchises, so they're all made differently. But this one by my house, legit bomb. So bomb. And I think I'm going to get that ice cream out. And I'm basically going to make myself some ice cream with the donuts. Look at this, guys. Which one do you guys want? We got the <clears throat> maple, powdered, sugar, a regular gaze twist, chocolate uh, long john, chocolate sprinkles, and regular glazed donuts down there. So, I usually just love the regular glazed donut. Uh, I might get the glazed twist. I don't know. Or the long john. Nah, I'm going to get my regular. I'm going to get the glazed twist because it's bigger. Let's do this one. Look at this, guys. Look how big this is. Doesn't it look delicious? It sure does. This is gonna be delicious. Look at me while you're eating a donut. Why? It's good. Oh my god, I'm so full. I literally had a donut. What, like an hour before the pizza got here? Yeah. I told her to wait, but. Oh, I couldn't wait, but now I'm so full. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So we just wanted to say hi, guys, and give you guys a little update of what's going on with us. Um, but with her, I just live here, you know. I think, yeah, but I'm pretty sure she was in the last video, too. Um, oh, was it the another one? Yeah, I think it was, it was the last yeah. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... So, oof. let us know how you guys are doing. Um, I am telling her that, you know, I want to do more videos. I want to be more consistent with it. So, hopefully, I get there. Um, I get these videos for you guys so you guys can see them. Look, the real reason why it's not consistent is because her has been getting up at 11, 12, 1 in the afternoon, y'all. Honestly like for real that's for a real. lie like I there's do. times i get home and she's still upstairs the fuck i can stay in my room i don't have to come downstairs and the thing is i don't i like on saturday and sunday i definitely sleep in why the fuck am i gonna wake up early during the week it just depends usually three times out of the week i have to be up by 7 30 because i'm babysitting so monday and tuesday would be the only days if i do sleep in like that but i don't mm -hmm. She just hating because she has to go into work early. 
And Not I'm still all. chilling when I'm here. Not at all, because even on my days off, I I just wake up early. Like, I can't sleep in no more. I don't know why. It's a thing. I go to the bathroom, and I'm just like, all right, well, time to shower. That's it. Literally. She Literally. slept in today. I did sleep in today. It was like 10, and that's because I woke her up, too. She probably would have slept longer. You did. Like, I couldn't go back to sleep after that. Yeah, Wait, I, was, I was probably like, oh, my God, it's so late. I need to get up. Um, no, she didn't even we, know the time. <laughs> we went. We went out. It was Friday. It was Friday night, and um, I work on Saturdays at six, and we stayed out till like midnight, huh? And then I didn't. I myself didn't actually go to sleep until like one thirty, but that's just because I was watching like YouTube videos and stuff. Still. Yeah. Plus, she did drink like. She had like four, 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 four coronas. Four coronas plus four, the um, Captain Morgan. the rum and coke too. So y'all, I was feeling it mm-hmm. and myself. Um, so I didn't go to sleep till like actually like one thirty, and I remember thinking I need to freaking turn my phone off at one thirty. Um, and by turning it off, I just mean like putting it aside in the little table. But I did, and I I crashed out. I crashed out, and I didn't think I was gonna get up. But um, I didn't think either. I actually had some doubt. <laughs> but I got up. I think my the alarm that I heard, because I usually have like 17 alarms. Um, the alarm that I heard went off, and I think it was like 4.32 or something like that. And I wasn't going to shower. I was just going to wear the same clothes, but... You did wear the same clothes. I know, but I did shower, though. Oh, okay. So I ended up showering. I got in the shower at Four thirty-seven. So I did make it on work to work. Yeah, that's good, right, guys? Yeah. And today I didn't work, so I slept in. I needed it because I had only slept like three hours Friday night, and yeah. So I freaking crashed out, and I've been sick, so I'm taking this medicine. Um. That tastes disgusting. Oh my god, it tastes disgusting. But I don't think it's doing anything for me. I'm just torturing myself at night. But uh, it's been good. It's been good. But I'll definitely try um, to get these videos out for you guys. Um, so please subscribe. Follow us. Let us know what you guys want to watch. And we'll try some things. I told her that we should do like on the journey. Or what did I say? Yeah, like, like a days in my journey or some something like that. Like, um, that has to do with like her her diet and like what she's been doing and stuff. You guys can get a little bit more like in depth, and maybe I'll even do like a face close up of a day where she's like having like a sugar meltdown, <laughs> and you can see her face of annoyance with everyone. Because when I say that she is a total biatch when it comes to that, it is a fact. And nobody believes it because she don't show it anywhere. Well, I think you do, but I do. But I'm I'm so nice that people don't believe it. She is. Oh, so annoying. (laughs) So thank you guys. Subscribe, follow, check us out, and we'll have more stuff for you guys. Bye.